No Life Chef, that is my name, what is up guys, and today we are going to be discussing all the new features coming in Dreaming Soccer 2020. So since First Touch Games has released a beta for some users on the App Store, uh, we now know all the new features that are going to be in Dreaming Soccer because people have access to the game. Now I'm pretty sure First Touch Games has done this before with Score Match because people had score match earlier than when it was released globally. So Dream League Soccer 2020 could be a brand new game, which means you have to start over. Because First Touch Games hasn't done this with their previous updates, so this could be a brand new game. This is what's, um, what's leading me to believe it is a brand new game, like they did in 2016 when they released Dream League Soccer 2016, which was a remake to the Dream League Soccer they made previously. So maybe this is another remake. So what does that mean for your players now? I believe that you just have to start over with Dream League Soccer 2020 and you'll keep all your players from Dream League Soccer 2019, um, but they just won't transfer over. You just have to restart in Dream League Soccer 20 and I'm pretty sure they'll take off the old Dream League Soccer off the App Store. So now that that's out of the way, let's get on to discussing the features that we have for Dream League Soccer 2020. The new game, I think. So we are going to go top to bottom of all the new stuff that is going to be featured in Dream League Soccer 2020, starting with the menu screen. So as you guys can see, the menu screen looks pretty similar to the one in Dream League Soccer 2019, except they've added the Expedition game mode. Now don't get too excited by this Expedition game mode. It's not like you can choose which team you're going to play and choose what team you're gonna play as. It's not like a play now type thing. It's basically just like, you know, the training feature that you have in Dreaming Soccer 2019. It's just that, but you're just playing another team. So it's just you playing as your team, playing a random team, and there's no difficulty setting or anything. So it's, it's not that great. And then right below the expedition, you have this more tab, which isn't all that new or anything. It's just uh, you know, just easier access to your uh, replay viewer, um, the training, and just your records. So it's just, it's just that. It, there's nothing special about it. So that's everything new you can expect in the, on the menu screen. It's, it's really not that special. But now we're going to get into the career mode and what has changed for the career mode. So let's start out with the games that you play in career mode. First of all, there are two new divisions. So with Dream League Soccer 2016 and, and all of its updates, you had the Academy Division, then I believe Division 3, Division 2, Division 1, Junior Elite, then Elite Division. Now in Dream League Soccer 2020, there is a new thing called Amateur Division, which comes right after Academy Division. Now there's a Division 4, Division 3, Division 2, Division 1, Elite Division, and Legendary di uh, Division. They got rid of Junior Elite and just called it Elite, and then uh, made Legendary Division Elite Divisions. And then they also added Division 4 and Amateur Division. Alright, so moving over to Team Management, there is a new feature called Coaches. So basically, there are coaches that you can buy, which are basically uh, player developments, essentially. So in, in Dream League Soccer 2019 that you have right now, there's player development, which you can pay money to develop your players, right? We all know what player development is. But now we have coaches to do player development. So essentially, you play amount of, I think they're gems or whatever, the new currency, which I'll go over in a second. So you can use gems to boost either common, rare, or legendary uh, amount of stats. So if you had legendary, it just costs more gems and it, it, it boosts more uh, of the stats uh, that is catered to them. There's technical, fitness, and goalkeeping coaches. So yeah. In addition to the coaches, they added something called form boost. Is basically it's a temporary boost that will uh, boost their overall rating for one match. So you can pay like a small number amount of gems to boost your player. So say you have you, you have a player and you want to boost their stats for one game, like the next game is really important, you can pay like 10 gems and then the rating will, like the overall rating will go up three ratings for just that one match. So pretty much they got rid of player development and replaced the player development with coaches and form boosts to make it a little bit harder to develop your players, I believe. And then ultimately slow down progress so, you know, you don't beat the game too quickly. Okay, so now we're going into transfers, which is now I'm going to talk about the new currency, gems. I believe you earn gems from uh, events, from uh, your objectives, your season objectives, which I'll go over later. And I, do I don't believe you earn gems from games. So, so gems are a little bit harder to get, uh, to get than, um, than coins. With these gems, you can purchase uh, coaches, like I said. 
Uh, you can do those form boosts, but also you can purchase an agent. So they have a new thing called agents, which will sign a specific type of player for your team. The cost of the player is included with the agent fee. So if you want a legendary player, all you have to do is pay 200 gems and the agent will get you a legendary player and you don't even have to pay any coins. So these, I believe, are the main use for your for your gems because you'll, you'll get like uh, good players guaranteed out of these agents. The other big thing in the transfers is a scout. So remember scouting that they implemented uh, last, uh, like a, a last year or something in the update? Um, basically, it's more important this year. So scouts will find players at a discounted price and also offer the chance to find rare and even legendary players. So you will pay some amount of coins for a scout to scout out players, which you then you can buy for a discounted price. So with Dreaming Soccer 2019, the scouts costed more, which I never really understood. But the scout players now will cost less. It'll be a discounted price. And if you buy like a legendary scout, you pay a little more coins. You have a more of a chance that they're scouting a legendary. So then you can get a legendary player at a discounted price, obviously. So you might be asking the question, No Life Jeff, why are scouts and agents that important? Well, you see, if you are in a lower division, all the players that you are able to buy are going to be low rated players. So if you want a Messi and you're in like amateur division, it's, he's not going to show up by chance. You have to use a scout or an agent to get one of those legendary players like Messi or just any of the higher rated players. So you no longer could just wait in the, in the store for a Ronaldo or a Messi to show up and then buy him with all your coins. You can't do that anymore. You have to use a scout or an agent to find them, then you can purchase them. Or if you have an agent, he'll already be purchased. So I believe agents are a little more useful than scouts because agents, you'll actually sign the player. And then, so which means that gems are a lot, are very important in this game. And the only way to get gems are to play events and do your season objectives. So all those season objectives that you, you never thought of, of doing, you, you should think about doing now because gems are very important. And events are a lot more useful for all those people who didn't like playing events. Now, if you play events, you'll get more gems, which will actually help you out with your uh, career mode team. So it's, they made events a lot more better and they made season objectives a lot more useful. So it's, they, they've, they've made improvements, obviously. And finally, about the transfers, if you want to release a player, you no longer can sell it back to the transfer market for coins. They now have to be converted into a technical coach or a fitness coach. That, that's about it. All right, now getting into my club, your statistics, you can see them. You can see all your objectives, objectives there. They actually pay out pretty well. You get 10 gems per objective. So, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's, a, that's a fair amount of gems that you get from uh, from the objectives and there's also stadium and facilities so now you don't, you don't just get get a boost from your stadium you get boosts from other buildings too there's obviously the stadium and you need this you need a certain amount of capacity to get to the new division as always there's nothing changed about the stadium however now you there's a commercial uh, place which which bonuses your winnings which you can uh, upgrade using gems there's also a medical center where you can upgrade using gems as well these are all upgradable by by gems however the stadium i believe is still coins so the medical center will lower the price you have to pay to heal a player and will lower the probability of them getting injured the training center will prolong the form boosts so instead of boosting them just for one match they'll they'll, they'll boost them for more more than one match and the coaches cost less the more you upgrade your training center and also you unlock formations using the training center as well. And there's also the accommodation where you can upgrade the maximum squad size all using gems. So in Dreaming Soccer 2019, you have a max squad size of 32. Now you only have 20 and you have to keep upgrading it with gems to get more players. All right, final thing about career mode, the customized team option. You can now customize your manager. There's nothing that, nothing the manager can really do. There's no manager mode or anything, but it's just what manager shows up in your celebrations. You can just name them, and you can um, just like mess with their hair color, their their facial hair, and like just what they look like. I'm not sure if there's new kit designs because I don't really pay attention to that, but there might be. I don't know. 
Same thing with the logos. I don't know what's different, if there's any different ones, different templates. All right, now we're moving on to Dream League Online. The only thing I could really notice out of that was different was that now there's a leaderboard. So I'm guessing the people who have the highest DLO rating will be on the leaderboard. I guess that's cool. You probably won't see me on there, but uh, anyway. But also, uh, the other thing that I noticed, the big change, that there are now 20 divisions. There were 10 in Dream League Soccer 2019. Now there's 20. Oh, baby. So you start off in Tier 20, and then you move up the tiers, I'm guessing, to, to Tier 1. That is interesting. I'm that much more far away from Division 4, huh? All right, finally, we're going to look at events. Currently, there are two possible events that I could be playing. So um, there's it's the same about events, basically. There's still challenges and tournaments. I'm pretty sure there's going to be cups and all the same type of events. But you don't only win coins, which, is the, which the rewards are kind of high, which is kind of nice. But you also can win scouts and also coaches. Now, I'm not sure if they're higher difficulty. I haven't tried them out yet. But hopefully they are. Uh, anyway, <laughs> they've also added some requirements to play in the events, like your stadium capacity or your team rating. So that's interesting. Now, I don't know if in the future you can earn gems from events. I don't know. It's just the events tab has gems and coins both on it. So I was just assuming that you could win gems from it. But if you can't, the information I said earlier about the way you get gems, the only way you get gems are from objectives that I could see. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things that cost gems that are pretty useful. There, there has to be a, a better way to get gems. All right, that is every single new feature that is in Dream League Soccer 2020 that you can get hyped about when it gets released globally. If you guys have the game and didn't know everything about it, then there you go. I showed you everything about Dream League Soccer 2020, and if you don't yet have it, this, these are all the things that you can expect to play in January. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you stayed to the end, leave a like on the video. This took me quite a long time to figure out everything that was new. I just had to go systematically and go bang, bang, bang. What's, what, what have I noticed that's new? So leave a like if you enjoyed the video. That would be much appreciated. And also subscribe for some more Dream League Soccer content. And yeah, but uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.